All right, so we're gonna go in here now and take a look. Med pack. Oh, Jesus! What the? F Welcome to Talos One, where coffee cups are deadly, your memories shot to hell, and the space station ain't faring much better. If you're looking for some tips on how to survive beyond your first hour, you've come to the right place. This is the beginner's guide to prey. So rule one, don't underestimate your enemies. You're not entirely defenseless, but you're also not Hurricane Katrina versus faulty levees in the worst designed city in human history strong either. When Prey tells you that you'll need your wits to survive, it means it. Getting a drop on enemies either by sneaking close or by distracting them to a dark alleyway in Jack the Ripper era London is the way to succeed. Running through and taking them all head on at the beginning will get your ass beat worse than an Antifa loser at a protest. Even low level mimics can make your health disappear if you're not smart. So to the dismay of your local barista, never trust a coffee cup. Serves you right for never saying my name correctly, Starbucks. How the fuck do you mispronounce Josh? Then we answer all of the questions differently, and we refuse to give an answer to the blot ink test. That way they can't make a psychological profile on us. What do you say to that, doctor? Oh, you did. I'm gonna take your body. Rule two, use your Nero mods. There isn't like a set number of Nero mods in the game. You can actually craft them later on at any fabricator you find. Prey doesn't exactly make that clear at the beginning though, which may lead you to hoard your neuro mods like my cat hoards toys behind the dryer, where they then caught on fire and... Well anyway, if any of you have a couch I could crash on, or know somebody interested in a cat with an arson obsession, I'd really appreciate it. There's really no wrong way to upgrade at the beginning, just take whatever sounds good. You wanna take the sneaky route like the fucking coward you are? Go right ahead. If you wanna get good with your guns and blast holes through phantoms that kinda make you question the laws of physics, you can do that too. I personally found upgrading the engineer tree to be most helpful to my playstyle, but I'd suggest putting on your best Thomas Edison costume and experimenting to find out what feels right with you. Whatever way you apply those Nero mods is gonna help though, because combat's most difficult at the beginning when you don't have any cool powers yet. Don't let them sit taking up your inventory slots, use those Nero mods! You see this? Do you see this little slot right there on your glue gun? Upgrade that slot. Upgrade this shit. UPGRADE THIS FUCKING SLOT! Rule 3, do the glue. So do you all remember back in first and second grade art class, there was always that one kid that was obsessed with smelling glue for his first high? It was like the first time he ever had a mind-altering substance and he just couldn't seem to get enough of it. He then later went on to become the stereotypical partier at your high school, but always seemed to be pushing it just a little too far and made everyone else uncomfortable at parties by drinking, smoking, and snorting everybody, and I mean everybody else under the table. And now he's in jail for like ever because he went on to develop a crippling drug addiction and ruined his fucking life? Well, take a page out of his playbook and make abusing, I mean using glue, your top priority. Fire like a madman with the stuff in combat. Losing track of even one enemy can spell disaster, D-E-A-T-H. And the jumpy little bastards don't exactly make it easy to get coated in your definitely not cum gun with the way they turn into trash cans behind your back or just simply face shift right in front of your face and bitch slap you. The more you shoot, the longer the alien scum will line up nicely for some headshots. Just watch out for those energy beams they shoot. Those things don't stop. Do the glue! These rules should see you through Half-Life 3 light without much wear and tear to life and Lin. If you found this guide helpful, feel free to subscribe for more, and be sure to check out my guides on Doom and Battlefield 1. Seriously, just go click on it. They're like three minutes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out!